After the reinstatement of the capital punishment, three people were executed in Montana. Duncan Peter McKenzie Jr., May 10, 1995. On January 21, 1974, Duncan Peter McKenzie was found guilty of killing Lana Harding, a schoolteacher in Conrad, Montana. He spent 20 years on death row following his conviction in March 1975, during which time he was granted eight stays of execution. The United States Courts of Appeals rejected his ninth request. On May 10, 1995, McKenzie was put to death. In addition to becoming the first death row convict in the United States to spend 20 years or more on death row and still be killed, he was the first person to be executed in Montana since 1943. Out of the three people that were executed by the state, he was the only one to be executed without consent. On October 5, 1951, Mackenzie was born in Chicago, Illinois. In July 1943, he married Shirley Marlene Mackenzie. At the time of his arrest, they were residents of Idaho and had three children together, Richard, Michelle, and John. He was found guilty of Lana Harding's suffocation, essay, and murder. Early on January 21, 1974, was when the crime was perpetrated. Residents of the small town where Harding taught in a one-room schoolhouse expressed worries for her safety when she failed to show up for class and her shoes were left in the driveway. Additionally, he was accused of killing the adolescent Deborah Pretty. Mackenzie had never admitted to killing Harding or Pretty, though, until the day of his death. When Pretty passed away, he was on parole after assaulting a different woman and resided not too far from the family house. Mackenzie murdered Harding three months after Pretty passed away. Paul Jr., Deborah's brother, who was 26 at the time, discovered the teen's body in the backyard of the house across the street. She had been essayed and had died of asphyxiation, according to an autopsy. The murderer's technique was the same as the one employed by the person who killed the Montana teacher on January 21, 1974. Officer Jacob Rogers of Kjordalen verified in November 2021 that Mackenzie murdered Deborah Pretty. According to a DNA sample, there was an extremely small chance that the murderer wasn't Mackenzie. On May 10, 1995, Mackenzie was put to death at Montana State Prison, making history as the state's first execution since 1943. His final meal was comprised of tenderloin steak, french fries, a tossed salad, orange sherbet, and whole milk. He was granted permission to listen to country music during his execution. Terry Allen Langford, February 24, 1998 Langford was executed by lethal injection in Montana after being found guilty of murder. For killing Ned and Celine Blackwood in July 1988 in Ovanda, Montana, Langford was put to death. On May 18, 1966, he was born in Lebanon, Kentucky's Marion County. His early years are largely unknown, save from the fact that he was a vagabond who lived in Raleigh, North Carolina. In the summer of 1987, Langford was found guilty of forgery and tampering with a motor vehicle, according to the North Carolina Department of Public Safety. He was not imprisoned because both of the counts were misdemeanors. Langford took a bus to Ovanda, Montana in June 1988. After heading north across a rugged region, he arrived to Ned and Celine Blackwood's property. For several days, he kept an eye on their whereabouts from a distance. Then, on July 5, 1988, he broke into the house, killed them, and took their possessions. He went to Jeffersonville, Indiana after the murders and slept at a motel there. He attacked a maid with a knife the next morning when she went into his room. Langford ran away, leaving a bag in a nearby forested area that included the Blackwood's stolen firearms. He was located and taken into custody. On January 26, 1989, he was found guilty of killing the couple and given the death penalty. On September 22, 1991, Langford killed another prisoner during a rebellion that claimed the life of five other prisoners. Convicted of intentional killing, he received a life sentence without the possibility of release. Langford was put to death at Montana State Prison on February 24, 1998, after he had waived his appeals. He declined to say any last words. 
He was the youngest prisoner executed in Montana since the death penalty was reintroduced in 1976 at the age of 31. David Thomas Dawson, August 11, 2006. Dawson was executed at Montana State Prison in Deer Lodge for the April 1986 murders of the Rothstein family in Billings, Montana. Dawson was born in San Diego, California on October 20, 1957. He has two sisters and was the second kid of three. When he was younger, the family relocated to California, Colorado, Florida, and Montana. It is believed that his father operated multiple unsuccessful businesses. Dawson was said to have been awkward and ill as a boy, and he had trouble making friends. He supposedly may have fathered a daughter after getting married while he was a young adult. But the couple parted ways. In search of construction work, Dawson relocated to Montana in the early 1980s and settled in Coal Strip. On the weekends, he would spend his time in his rented apartment in Billings. According to reports, Dawson was a heavy user of methamphetamine and Mary Jane. He was a construction worker and a known drug addict before the Rothstein family killings. On April 18, 1986, Dawson broke into the Rothstein family's motel room. At the same motel, he made the family go to his room, which was right next door to theirs. He gagged the four members of the family, bound them with tape, and stole their money. Three of the four family members, 39-year-old David Rothstein, his 39-year-old wife Monica, and their 11-year-old son Andrew, were strangled by Dobson over the course of the following two days. Two days after the killings, their 15-year-old daughter Amy was discovered alive in Dobson's motel room. The Dobson trial concluded in February 1987. After almost 14 hours of deliberation, the jury issued guilty verdicts on three charges of premeditated murder, four counts of abduction for every member of the Rothstein family, and one act of robbery. District Judge Diane Bars sentenced Dobson to death on April 15, 1987. He gave up his right to challenge his verdict and punishment. Two double cheeseburgers, two large plates of french fries, half a gallon of vanilla fudge ripple ice cream, and two bottles of Dr. Pepper comprised Dobson's last meal. He responded no when asked whether he had any final remarks. On August 11, 2006, he was put to death by lethal injection carried out by the state of Montana. In more than eight years, Montana had not seen an execution. As of 2024, the state has not carried out an execution in over 17 years. Currently, Ronald Allen Smith and William J. Gohan are the only two men in Montana on death row. Due to a court decision that determined the state's use of lethal injections violated the Montana Constitution, there has been a de facto moratorium on the death penalty since 2015. The final hanging death in Montana occurred in 1943. Montana has only given one clemency so far. David Cameron Keith received clemency from Governor Ted Schwinden in December 1988, and his sentence was lowered to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In March 1988, David Cameron Keith was found guilty of aggravated kidnapping and given the death penalty. His execution date was set on January 20, 1989. Keith was largely paraplegic and virtually blind from gunshot wounds, had undergone a legal religious conversion, and may have shot his victim in self-defense after being wounded, according to the Montana Board of Pardons and Parole's recommendation for mercy. Please hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.